everyone in today's video we are going to take a tour uh, around notion it's basically like a beginner's guide to notion if you're new to notion you'll be like super confused like what can i possibly do in notion because when you just enter um, notion there's like a blank page when you click on create a page right uh, so we are going to um, go on tour around in Notion and I'm going to show you the basic things that you can do in Notion and uh, yeah let's get started so those of you who don't have an account you can go ahead and sign up uh, and those of you who have an account you can um, go ahead and log in alright so this is basically our first uh, glance at Notion. They have this really nice setup. They explain everything really well. You can even look at their YouTube videos that they have embedded um, in the startup page. That's the getting started page. It's really uh, cool. Um, so yeah. So now let's go ahead and see what we can do. And they are also given all of these options. A quick note which is really nice and personal home task list and journal and reading list all these are really nice and basic to start off with if you're not looking for anything specific in notion uh, but uh, we should get into the details and see what um, what and how we can customize our pages in notion so basically let's go ahead and create a page to create a page you have this uh, plus a new page option down here so go ahead and click on it and you have this um, blank page basically so go ahead and open it as a page so that you have all the space uh, that you can work with so now that we have created this page let's see what other things we can do we can go ahead and straight away uh, click on this blank area as it says press enter to continue with an empty page or pick a template you can use the arrow keys to select uh, this option gives you a blank empty page with an icon like that or you can control Z to go back and this is basically an empty page uh, which is basically this um, and templates templates is they have this whole bunch of templates that you can work with it's really really um, nice and really well thought out they have really nicely structured templates that you can work with if you don't have much time uh, coming up with your own or you need some inspiration you can always come here and take a look at it or if you just want some really quick fix uh, template ideas you can just use the um, default templates uh, so yeah so let's go ahead and click out and uh, these are the databases we'll get into these a bit later so I'm going to go ahead and click on this blank area so that the uh, default blank text is like uh, gone so I'm going to type in a title to give um, to the page okay, type in Marvel okay so now basically our title is done the other things that you can do to decorate the page is you can add an icon so let's go ahead and add in uh, this let's see what we can add in my default uh, icon or emoji is this dizzy symbol I don't know why I like it so much but it is and you can also go ahead and add in a cover to add a little bit of aesthetic and you can use these ones which they provide or you can always upload your own or you can use a link uh, that you have and also you can use the unsplash option you can use pexel or uh, there's so many options like you can download your own and upload it uh, so yeah so I'm going to choose one of these and let's go for these Let's actually go for. Uh, I'm confused actually. Okay, let's go for this really nice uh, blue and pink gradient. Okay, there we go. So actually, let's change this to match the aesthetic. Let's go for 
purple heart. It's not really visible. Yellow heart. Okay. Much better. Okay, so these are the few things that you can do to add uh, some aesthetic to your page. So let's go ahead and move on to page width. So when you start uh, to type in, so let's go ahead and type out the contents. I'm going to go ahead to Marvel Cinematic Universe to bring out some content, some text. I'm going to copy the first paragraph and going over to notion and just pasting it right there so if you just look at it directly along with the side panel it looks really really nice so the other thing that you can do is to make most of this space right here is you can just hover over your name over here is Jane's notion so now we also have this option called close sidebar so you just hover over it and just click on it once and the sidebar goes away so in case you want the sidebar again, you can just go ahead and hover over to the side and it comes right back in. And once, if you want the sidebar back up again, you just hover over and you have this option. So just click on it once and you have the option. But for now, we'll keep it closed. Okay, so now we have this really nice, beautiful setup going on. So let's see what else we can do uh, with it. So there's also this option uh, which uh, Notion gives you. All you have to do is go to these three dots and you have this full width. So basically the width that they provide is the default width that basically has all the text centered right in the middle. And in case you want to make um, most of the space that they give you, that is uh, the left side and the right side area, the blank spaces that you can see on the screen. Uh, to make use of that, you can just go ahead to three dots and click on full width. So by doing that, the text just uh, wraps up the entire page. So in this case, you can make most of the area that they give you. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how uh, it is. You can either go back, if you want to toggle back to the default, you can just toggle it off, toggle it on to see uh, and compare which layout you like and you can stick to that. So this is the only command that you would need and that is the slash command. So you can go ahead and type in the slash command and you have this big, uh, well not really that big, uh, uh, prompt menu bar appear on the screen. So you have all these basic things as the title itself says, it's like basic, it's like straightforward and easy. So you have text, page, do this and all of these three headings is like basically a HTML kind of layout that you can also give in Notion, bullet list, and toggle list, number list, and all of this uh, options that you can choose from. You can also use the emoji, it's really cool uh, to add some aesthetic to your page. And you also have all of these databases and you have all of these medias also. So you can just play around with. Uh, all of these options. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out uh, the table, inline table, just to show you one example of a database. So I'm going to click on it once and we have this really nice uh, table, the, the database basically. So I'm going to rename this to characters. So the other things that you can do in a database is you can create columns. You can create multiple columns. You can keep going on and on and on. And the other thing that you can do in a column is you can go ahead and rename. It's just super easy. You can just click on it once. You have this uh, text box. So you can go ahead and type in, let's say, Iron Man, I guess. Uh, okay. So uh, that's how you rename it. So you can also adjust, manually adjust the columns by clicking on this uh, a line and you can just drag it all the way towards the left or you can drag it all the way towards the right you can manually do that and yeah you can also just hover over this title and you can just drag it to you see that the other column is on the other side and yeah it's super simple and easy it might take some time to get used to moving things around in Notion, but gradually it will pick it up.
so these headings are not just headings they have property types and by property type I mean let's go ahead and click on tags so you have all of these options so in case you have the same format uh, for the other columns as well you can go ahead and click on it once you have this option called duplicate so it copies all the formatting of uh, this column and it will duplicate itself into two so let's go ahead and see how we can do that so actually let's put in some properties so let's go ahead and put in so I put in two options so let's go ahead and change this to and this is a kind of property type multi select is a property type which basically helps you choose uh, two or more than two options you can even choose one option but uh, to choose just one option you have this thing called a uh, property type uh, called single select or just select as it is as it says here so I'm going to select that and it has automatically selected Iron Man in case you want to change the options you can just click on it and you can just change it to Hulk or the options that you have let's go ahead and duplicate as I mentioned earlier so click on duplicate and we have this so uh, you have to rename this because it will say that copy of tags or copy of the heading that you have mentioned in the previous column so let's go ahead and type in So again you will see the three dots so let's go ahead and manually adjust it to how we like it. So now you will see that there's absolutely no uh, content because we did put in Hulk and Iron Man right. So it would definitely be there so just click on it and you will get the options. Uh, so that's how you do it. So this is everything about database it's just the basics. You can go ahead and play around with it. Uh, there's a whole uh, playlist in the description so make sure to check that out so in notion when you hover over a text like I am doing right now you will see that this entire uh, block of text or a paragraph is one block it makes sense right so while typing you hit enter and you will definitely go into the next line and the next line will also give you these six dots so every single time you see a six dot it is a block so let me show you by bringing in another paragraph from the Marvel Cinematic Universe I'm going to copy this paragraph and coming over here and pasting it so basically you would see that there's um, three blocks right here so in case you don't know and you're wondering how three blocks it's basically like this entire paragraph is one block this second paragraph is one block and this uh, tabular column or the inline table database is one block and actually there's more than just three blocks in this page because this entire row as you can see also has these six dots so anywhere you see the six dots in Notion that entire uh, block or the space that it contains is one block so we have three pages right here as you can see the count is three so we have three pages so the number of blocks in this page is one two three four five and six so there's basically like six um, blocks right here so that's how the, so that's basically how you read blocks uh, so let's go ahead and uh, delete this uh, tabular column uh, because I want to show you uh, how you can do layouts now so let's say that you are designing a blog in notion and you want it to be like uh, two columns so you'll be wondering we don't really have layout options in notion so how do we actually do it we actually do it manually and as I mentioned earlier uh, we are going to be using blocks so we currently have two blocks of text or two paragraphs which is perfect for a little example so that I can demonstrate the layouts so to do the layout uh, as I mentioned and explain about blocks you, you can just hover over these six dots and it also gives you a prompt which basically explains how you can do it so drag to move click to open menu so the click to open menu gives all of these options you can turn it into all of these options 
but we want to drag it so that we have a layout. So to drag, just hold on it and click on it once and just hold there and just hold it right here. Just move it and you see this blue line. Once you see the blue line, just drop it at that. The blue line is basically a safe zone. So this is how you create columns in Notion. It's just a regular uh, two columns in Notion and in case you want to make more than two columns in Notion, let's say you want to make three or four columns, you can uh, go ahead and enable the full width so that you have all of these spaces and you can um, you know you can add another paragraph here let's say I want to I'm going to duplicate and uh, I'll just hover over like this and you see the blue line just drop it right in so this is how you can um, create three columns and you can keep repeating these steps to create uh, numerous um, columns in Notion so yeah I hope you learned something from this video and I will see you in the next one bye